All right, you're going to have to excuse this one because I'm just holding the camera by hand because I don't really have a tripod that'll work in this situation. Try to jury rig something else. At any rate, you've got a drop of blood that's going to be sucked into some kind of a tube, uh, a pipette, whatever that is. Biology thing. I know what it is. At any rate, you're asked to define the height of this. Let's see if we get it right. Write a formula for the height of the column of blood in terms of r for the radius of the pipette and uh, large r the radius of the original droplet. Check the dimensions of your formula. So what you need to do is to somehow come up with this and this. Well, and this is a level two problem because you have to give it some thought. And here's the thought involved. Basically, the ball of water, or I'm sorry, the ball of blood will turn into a column of blood the volume of blood will turn into the volume of uh, blood. So volume equals volume. Now that being true, the volume of a sphere is 4 pi r cubed over 3. Now I don't have that memorized. I looked it up in the back of the book. You have some math tables. You have volume of sphere. And that sphere is going to turn into a column. And that column uh, will be th that thing. And so the volume of a column is equal to pi r squared, a different r. This is the radius of the column. And this is the radius of the sphere, two different r's, um, times length. So uh, if you did, what is it asking for? The height, the length. So we can substitute an h here if we want to. We want to get uh, this by itself, h by itself, so we have to do the same thing to both sides of the equation. So you want to get rid of pi r squared from this side of the equation. How would you go about doing that? And once you've done that, then you substitute in units for uh, 4 has no units, pi has no units. Radius of the sphere could be in, what, meters, centimeters, whatever radius of the uh, uh, column could be again in the same units and so once you do your dimensional analysis are you left with dimensions of length and that's how you do number five give it a try but that's the secret right there all right well hey thanks a lot see you in class